Hello Cancer! Welcome to your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Cancer, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Cancer, let's see what do we have for you. There might be no contact situation here between you and this person that we are connecting with in this reading for you. Yeah, it's like this person is really holding back. But let's see. Could you please show me important messages for cancer? What do we have? Hope, positivity. Okay. That's the energy of six of cups. Someone here wants to, someone is very nostalgic about you, Cancer. Recalling memories. This is someone who is in a very deep emotions. They have strong feelings for you. That's a nice energy, hope, positivity. Lesson learned, done. For some of you, it might be your energy. Can say it's like I've learned my lesson. You know, I've done the work. But I'm also getting here that the, for some of you, this is someone here who've learned their lesson essentially. Hope, positivity. You might be dealing with Aquarius. Cancer, deep in, yeah, it's like, something here is changing. I feel that we are connecting in this reading for you with someone, indeed, with whom there might be a no contact situation between the two of you, but it's like that time apart change something here regarding this person perspective because this is someone who wants to reconnect with you they are very nostalgic about this connection about you they are reminiscing about the past and they are very emotional about this with the hope and positivity it's like i'm getting quite strongly that this person is trying to be positive about the future of this situation this is someone here who is holding on to hope if i can say it that way that both of you will reconcile okay show me more about the situation this person what's truly going on here Six of Wands. We have the Chariot, Five of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Three of Cups, mm -hmm. the Hanged Man, Queen of Pentacles, and the Hermit. You have someone here who is thinking a lot about you. We have the sun as an overall energy. You might be dealing with, we have Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Leo, and also your energy, Cancerian energy. So you might be dealing with another Cancer, okay? You see? Thinking of you. And that's what I, that's what I said. This is someone who's thinking a lot about you. Reckless, thoughtless. Okay, so this is someone here who feels that they messed things up, that they've reacted in a kind of a, in a not great way. Yeah, because Five of Cups here suggests that you're dealing with, we are dealing here, you might be dealing with someone, okay, who has regrets. 
and that six of wands with the chariot this is very strong ego i feel that there was a situation that ego got better of the, of, of them and now they regret because that three of cups which is here in a bright position it, it's like you know it's those three of cups are empty right so this is someone here who feels in general unhappy they have regrets there i feel this is someone who's not very happy with themselves but the feelings are still there yeah this is someone who is thinking a lot about this situation that happened and it's uh, they are trying to figure out what to do hanged man there is a need for them to change perspective and it's like this person is realizing that six of wands they want your attention and it's like this person wants to chase you i feel that they are very curious about you but it's awkward that's what i'm getting it's oh i don't know what to do i wish that cancer would communicate with me but this is this is also someone here who who is trying to be optimistic with the sun as an overall energy that you will welcome communication from them that you will be open to hear them out because they have something here to say the main thing here with the three of cups is this is someone who wants to repair the situation or to fix to bring more positivity you know who wants to change the situ the circumstances between the two of you and it's like yeah i'm getting quite strongly that this person wants to express that they indeed kind of had the time to think about the situation they changed perspective and it's like they've learned their lesson because the hermit it's wisdom it's um it's like it's people for instance if we are in a hermit mode we're trying to figure out something but we also have this time to think about this whole situation and it's like we are drawing certain conclusion based on our experience and knowledge i personally call this card as wise man you know <laughs> So it's like, yeah, I've learned my lesson. And when we look at this card, we have the star card here. Like this hermit, it's, it's kind of holding on to that star, trying to figure out, but also it's like holding on to that hope that they have that things will be different. This is someone who wants to change the circumstances between the two of you. The sun. Yeah. They have very, very strong, warm feelings for you. The sun is one of the most optimistic, beautiful cards in a deck. It speaks of that happiness, joy, fulfillment. And that's what they want. They know that you bring a lot to the table, that you have so much to offer. The emperor four of cups seven of cups you might be dealing with aries you might be dealing with divine masculine who uh, took your kindness for weakness or who took you for granted and at some point they didn't appreciate your attention your affection your offer of love and they made you feel that you're an option not a priority Show me this person's feelings towards cancer. Ace of Pentacles, they feelings, Two of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. So this is someone here who, or you might be dealing actually because we have strong earth. Uh, Cancer, you might be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. 
this is someone here who it's like this person is very practical or they are very very career orientated at the moment finances are playing quite significant role regarding this person's it's like finances might be affecting their love life in general yeah i'm seeing here you know this is someone with the ace of pentacles on emotional level who wants to kind of make an offer a solid offer but it's like oh what am i supposed to do how am I supposed to do that? I feel that emotions are running really, really high. This person is very deep in their emotions because water in tarot represents emotions, right? So look how. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feelings here, emotions are running really high because uh, it's like this person has an idea how to come forward, but it's like, it's a matter of which direction I should choose. And I feel that they've been thinking about it for quite some time with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like this person is trying to gain courage to come forward here. And Knight of Cups as an overall energy suggests that this person wants to apologize or they want to kind of come forward here with an offer of love, whatever that might mean for that situation. For some of you, this is someone who will say, I'm sorry. For some of you, this is someone who wants to be in touch with you or who wants to kind of come with some sort of kind of form of invitation, you know, shall we go out or are you free this time? Can we go for a drink and talk about the situation? I feel this person wants to meet up. Or in general, they want to reach out and bring that offer, that solid offer, but in this case of emotion, of love. Show me this person's actions towards cancer. Mm -hmm. And they will reach out. Page of Wands, message. Show me this person's actions towards cancer. Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and we have, yeah, Eight of Wands, Overall Energy, Hierophant. You might be dealing with Taurus. Yeah, this is communication, essentially. If you've been wondering and if indeed there is no contact situation or you are not on the speaking terms, Cancer, at the moment with this person, they're going to reach out. They're going to send you a message because uh, that time apart or the fact that there is no contact situation or you are not on this or you are not talking, it's 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 heavily kind of weighting on their shoulders. It's, 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 it's exhausting, it's tiring because this is someone who really wants to talk. Yeah. And it's like they want to release this burden in a sense of, you know, reach out to have that conversation with you. The reason I feel they are not kind of reaching out because this person feels a little bit, you know, kind of a, they feel that they messed things up and they are kind of hoping that you might reach out to them. Well, that's, I don't feel that's what's going to happen here now. They will, and I, I'm getting very strongly that this person deep inside understands this, that they need to make that first move. And they're going to do that because it's like, I need to do it. Ten of Wands, it's like, I've been waiting for too long. I really need to, it's because this is playing on this person's mind, this whole situation. It's not like it's completely uh, irrelevant for them. It is very relevant they really really kind of thinking about you and they really want to reach out and they will they will page of pentacles mm. excuse me yes this is someone who will bring some sort of kind of form of an offer here to you an eight of wands yeah, I feel um, eight of wands is very action orientated card so I see here a conversation kind of texting with this person 
you texting with this person about that offer here represented by the page of pentacles this is a potential it might not be much it might be for instance kind of um uh, chatting about um, kind of you know about meeting up uh, about the meeting with this person or something like this Hierophant as an overall energy. This is someone who wants a high level of commitment with you at the end of the day. And they will talk, this is someone who will be talking about this. So expect communication from this person. It's like, I cannot know more. I, I need to reach out. That's a 10 of wands with the page of wands, essentially. Show me, please, the outcome. Ace of Wands. The High Priestess. And Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, you know, it might be someone from your workplace, or somehow connected with your work. So, or somehow this person is connected with your workplace. We have a Queen of Wands as an overall energy. <laughs> That's interesting. Cancer, is this person single? Because I'm getting here someone. Who, who, who has very deep feelings for you. They are thinking about this connection. They are reminiscing here about something recalling some sort of memories this person is very nostalgic about you they are thinking a lot about you with the big heart here so they are thinking romantically about you ace of one suggests that there will be action will be taken high precious something here it's hidden though it's like a secret eight of pentacles Working. Queen of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, this is very specific and it might not resonate with all of you, but I'm getting here is um, a connection that feels like it has to be hidden. So like a romance I'm getting because one of the party might not be single or maybe even both maybe maybe you are also in a relationship you know please let, let me know in the comment section below what's going on here but i feel that this is someone's situation and it's like this person might be from work And that attraction is like kind of hidden, especially at work, at, you know, at the workplace. We have strong Pisces energy. For some of you, if that's not the case, I'm getting here quite strongly that this person indeed will take action, okay? And, um, they will say something here that they've never told you be that they've never told you before and it's like you will see that this person wants to make an effort or they kind of you know trying to they are trying they are trying to kind of fix the situation because this is like working trying to fix putting an effort in order to make things better in this case but then we have this overall energy, that Queen of Wands here, and that's in a love readings third party. Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. What is this about? Give me a second here, Cancer. For some of you, this is someone here who told you that they are single. And they've been lying about this. They've been very secretive.
with the seven of yeah the high precious the secret this is someone i'm getting quite strongly who hasn't been fully transparent with you it's like this person really wants you will of fortune the world yeah it feels this is like lesson exactly there's that world and the will of fortune seven of swords mm, th there is something here about you not fully trusting this person because of of them not being fully transparent about some sort of relationship here or situationship about another person involved in their life or something like this I'm getting and I feel that's the core of the problem because this is someone here who needs to explain themselves and we have that secret right them being not fully transparent but ace of wands is like this the action here will be taken and regarding that secret and with the eight of pentacles it's like this person will try to kind of uh, put an effort uh, in order to kind of reassure you yeah six of pentacles eight of swords ace of swords and the empress this person sees you you know as their divine counterpart but i feel it's quite complicated here cancer because um it might be a case with the six of pentacles that this is someone who might have some sort of obligations or responsibilities and it feels like that they need to give they need to be given to another situation maybe even they need to support someone financially eight of swords they feel trapped stuck in that situation it's like my hands are tied this is what i need to do um and we have an ace of so swords that 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 truth communication Empress, for some of you, this is like a baby mama situation that this person is is kind of facing. Oh, it's like the person here, it's involved in their life. But it's... But I feel that this individual will try to kind of um, bring more clarity to the situation. They will try very hard here to kind of to prove it to you something because they're stressing out they want to leave that situation this is someone who truly kind of would like to detach fully from that another situation that might be involved with yeah They will for sure say something here that you will gain knowledge about something. I feel this person is going to be more transparent when they will reach out to you. And they will try very hard to kind of prove it to you that they are sincere. I'm getting, if you ask me, if for instance you would ask me, listen, is this person really sincere with me? I would say, well, I feel that they're going to tell you something about their situation but to to be perfectly honest with you them being fully kind of telling you 100 percent exactly what's going on i'm not seeing that but i'm seeing that this person really wants to kind of in an ideal situation an ideal kind of scenario they would love to kind of detach from that situation but it's like they are they have obligation or responsibilities here and it makes them feel kind of stuck in that situation but i'm seeing someone here who uh, is in love with you and they will try to kind of uh they will try to prove it to you that they care cancer i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly truly appreciate you cancer have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me i am sending you much much love
Till next time, take care. Bye.